Hey, it's Dave from Gravity Wiz, and I'm about to show you how you can use Gravity Forms to gate your WordPress content with our new, very aptly named perk, Submit to Access. With Submit to Access, you can hide the full content of a page, specific blocks, or use short codes to get even more granular with your content protection. Of course, if you're using the classic editor, it's supported there as well. So without further ado, let's dig in and see how it works. So first thing we're gonna do is hop over into one of our posts. Now it does work with pages as well. And of course you can enable it for uh, different types of custom post types. With that said, we have a little crash course here. And we have all sorts of valuable information for web travelers. So what we want to do is we want to lock this content down so that they have to give us something in return, typically a name and email. In this case, we are going to go ahead over to the post level settings. This would be page for pages or whatever your post type is. Uh, we're going to go down to submit to access. We're going to click enable submit to access, and then we're going to select the required form. This is the form that they're going to have to submit in order to get access to this content. Once that's in place, uh, we're going to go down and we're going to say we want to show a message if access is required. You can optionally redirect to the form page instead of showing the form directly on the page. And then there's the option to customize the access message here. The form will always be appended to this automatically, but you can use the form merge tag if you want to control exactly where it is output. Lastly, there is the content loading message, uh, and this just is what they will see after they've submitted the form and while they're waiting for the content to load. It all happens really quickly, though, so they won't see this for long. And though I said lastly on that, it's actually access duration, which is the last setting here, and this just controls how long they have access. In this case, I'm going to default it to forever. So that way, once they've submitted the form, they will always have access to not only this page, but any page that also requires that form. So with that said, let's jump into an incognito window and I'll pull that up. So it's fully in screen here and you can see that they can't see any of the content on this page. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the form and I'm going to go to my test information and submit. Wow, immediately they have access to the content, including our premium download link where they can download a PDF of the full course. So let's get a little bit more granular and instead of blocking the page, so let's go in and unable uh, submit to access on the page level, let's go to the block level now. So we have our download premium course link selected. We can go to submit to access on the block and we can do the same thing. We're gonna enable it, we're gonna select the form, we're gonna leave it on show message, and then we could customize this to say something like, um, you know, share your details for access to our premium download. And we will leave the access duration on forever. So that way if they came back to the site, they could access this download again. We already have their information. So again, we're gonna go into incognito mode and you're going to see that it shows all of that content above. But when we get down to the premium download, it shows our custom message, share your details for access to our premium download. And if we enter in the con our details and submit, you can see that that is now available to them and it has been, uh, they've been granted access. Okay. So that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> so let's go down and explore what this looks like in the classic editor. So very much the same, we have all of our content here. And then we have a meta box with all of your submit to access settings. I've already got this one set up and I'm not actually gonna demo it for time, but you can see it is gonna work identically to the block editor. Now, the one thing I do wanna show you is how this would work in, with a short code. So what we're gonna do is we're going to paste in that section uh, it's going to have our link to the download premium course PDF. And you can see that we have the short code here, GPSA. Required form IDs allows you to provide multiple comma delimited forms. In this case, we just have one that we want them to submit the uh, basic registration form. You can set the cookie expiration on this. You can dictate whether a requires access message should be shown or if the content should just be hidden uh, if access is required. In this case, we're going to keep it pretty simple here 
and go ahead and update this post. And we're gonna go ahead and view this in incognito window. We're gonna scroll this up, scroll down now. You can see all the other content is visible. Only the content in the short code will be required or be protected. And we submit, and there we go. Our link is now available. So that's it in a nutshell. This can do a lot more, uh, but you'll have to read the docs for that uh, until we record more awesome videos showing what this new perk can do. If you have any questions, be sure to contact our support team. We provide absolutely legendary support. I stand by that. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much. Bye.